is Community Connection. Thanks for tuning in to this Community Connection Spotlight. This morning we're joined by Penny Paul who works with the, with the City County Health Department here in Cascade County. Thanks so much for taking time this oh, morning. Well, thank you. All right, so you're here to talk about workplace wellness, which is a topic that many of us uh, that have a job can relate to. Um, you guys are actually offering training, which is kind of the first of its kind. Yes. Well, what happens, Kelsey, is we are um, um, part of a grant through the Chronic Disease um, Health Promotion Bureau and that grant is Worksite Wellness and there's health promotion specialists at 13 counties covering 57 communities in the state of Montana and those health promotion specialists are allowed to um, work with bus three businesses for up to three years. Well we were kind of looking at that our program and <clears throat> you know if you're in a larger community you're not reaching a lot of businesses within three years. You're doing quality programming, but you're not reaching a lot of businesses. So I asked our, our state program if it would be possible for me to just go around the state and do the training that we actually provide uh, for our work sites. And we use Wellness Council of America's seven benchmarks. So with those benchmarks, our health promotion specialists are working throughout the state for three years. Uh, applying those benchmarks, but with a two-hour training, we can give those benchmarks to businesses to help them set up worksite wellness programs. And then Wellness Council of America is also offering a discount in their membership for us the first year from $395 to $210. And WOCOA has a plethora of resources. They reach out, they have over 5,000 members of from Fortune 500 companies to small organizations like wow. our health department. All right, and so as I understand it, um, training has already taken place yes. in several Montana counties, yes. not just here in Cascade, but yes. across the state. Right. Which is really cool. And once I do the training, uh, I'm a resource for people who call and may have a question on the benchmarks or where they're at. And also, um, if there's a health promotion specialist in that area who can take them on, they will, or they will act as a resource through their health departments for that business. We're not going to leave them high and dry after a two hour training, we're always available to help, but the benchmarks are a systematic process that help them develop worksite well-being uh, programs, which are so important now for worksites. Definitely, and if you don't mind elaborating more, uh, just the importance of having a worksite wellness program. Well, when you think about it, 80% of people are in the worksite, and where is a better place to reach people with worksite well-being? Um, about 85% of our of health risks are either preventable or modifiable. So eating healthy, taking a walk, uh, quitting tobacco, very really simple things that we can do to take care of our health. But people want to know um, that their business cares about them. You're there a long time during the week, many hours during the week. And so they want to walk in and know, is, is the lighting good? Is ergonomics, um, is, it, is there healthy vending, clean break rooms? Um, you know, stairwells that are attractive if you want people to take the stairs. There's so bike racks, so many things that you can do for people. It's not just knowing, you know, what's my blood pressure, although that's important, but it's that whole, it's the whole person now in worksite well-being. Okay, great, and probably key to retaining some employees too, the employee happiness. Absolutely. Well, unfortunately, that's all the time that we have for this Community Connection Spotlight, but all that information, and I believe that uh, classes are free as well to take, Absolutely. Uh, is on our websites, KRTV and KXLH.com. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you.